Hey guys, Mike here from Panther Hollow Sporting Optics. I hope this video finds you well. I hope the Lord's blessing you in everything you do. Um, this is January 2nd. We're starting off the new year. These are all some old products that we've tested through 2021. Um, we have some Blackhound products here. We have the Element and the two Arkin SH4 Gen 2s. So this is a video of my, my picks for the uh, best budget optics for 2021, um, whether it be long range and a mixture of hunting or some, some hunting and some long range, okay? So we're gonna start off here with the uh, four to 14 Blackhound. This little optic here is a great little optic for the money. Uh, you get a lot with this optic, zero stops, illumination. Um, the only gripe I have about this optic is the thickness of the reticle. Now some guys like that and some guys may not like that. It's, that's gonna be a matter of preference, but for me, the internal elevation and the, th the reticle thickness is two things that, that, I, that I don't care for as much. Now the optic itself is pretty good. I tested this optic against the four to 16 Arkin over here. If it was going optic for optic, I mean, you can see the difference there. The Arkin is, is just a better looking scope. Actually the four, to 16 versus the four to 14, the Arkin tested better. Now, if you're gonna do hunting and some target shooting, I'd probably lean more towards this scope than this scope, just because of reticle thickness. Other than that, it's been a great scope for us and uh, we have some guys using it, but this is probably, this is, is the lower scope uh, in this lineup, okay? As far as picks go. Now, it's big brother, the six to 24, is another uh, great example of Blackhound's uh, this scope right here, we tested it, we put it up against the Arkin mm -hmm. SH4 Gen 2 6-24. And this scope was a little clearer, just a little bit. Um, not a whole lot, but a little bit. Uh, where this scope kind of uh, has its shortcomings for long range is internal elevation and again the reticle thickness. So kind of the same um, downfalls for both scopes, if you call that downfall. Now to me it is, and that's just my opinion of these scopes, okay? Um, in the center we're here. We have the Element Helix. Now this was set in the center because it sets kind of in between the two. Um, this Helix right here, this particular one we've used, we've actually broke it. We've done a few things to it and uh, we've been really rough on it. Now it still works. It's just that the, the side marker there where it tells you whether, where you're at on your rotation, that piece is loose, loosened up. Um, so we're gonna send that back, get that fixed, but this scope here is, has been a really good scope for us. We've had it on several different rifles, uh, including 22s, um, some heavier rifles up to 30-06, uh, 270, so on and so forth. We got a guy running one of these 300 Win Mag, and, and, and the scope, it does what it needs to do. I mean, it's uh, got a really good reticle in it. I'm not a real fan of the turrets, but again, that's kind of a personal preference. What I really do like about this scope is the reticle. The reticle is really long. It's stretched out. It's uh, over 60 minutes of holdover um, in this scope. Uh, so it's a great scope for the money. It's $479. Now where it has a shortcoming is it has no illumination. So if you like illumination, you probably wouldn't want to look at the Element Helix. The next scope in this line is, as we're going up here, we're going up in favorites, okay? So this is a 6-24 SH4 Gen 2 Arkin. Um, this is a great scope for us. Uh, we have several guys using these. And we have guys that just like these and they like nothing else. Um, you don't have to come off the gun to run these turrets. The turret numbers are, are nice and big, easy to read. Uh, the zero stop works well. It repeats the zero well. There's a lot of good things going here with the Arkin. Now, where it kind of... As the shortcomings with this scope in particular is the eye box is kind of tight and it gets a little bit dark on higher magnification and that's to be expected because it is up in that high mag range. So it kind of is what it is there. The reticle on these scopes are, are laid out pretty nicely. Um, I like them. We use them a lot. So we've tested them. We have several of these in the lineup that we sold and several that we've used and we've not had we've not had very many issues i've only had one issues one issue with this particular scope brand 
um, in the 6 to 24 that we've had to send back for a battery issue. So the top scope for the 2021 picks at Panther Hollow is the Arkin SH4 Gen 2 4 to 16 by 50. Now this particular scope here we have had on several different rifles uh, including 22s and center fires. This scope here has uh, been a solid performer. Um, we've used it all the way out to 1250 yards. Um, it's a great scope for the money. It has actually got a little clearer glass than uh, the reason it's clear is because the mag uh, level is lower and it has a much more forgiving eye box. So if you guys are in the market for a 16 power scope for around that it's what's well, 399 so a great scope for the money for sure this is my pick for the budget scope of the year for panther hollow it's the arkin sh4 gen 2 4 to 16. great scope for the money so we kind of got those out of the way and uh if you guys want to look up the specs on these scopes you can look at those up online i have done some comparisons um, one scope versus the other scope, especially with the Black Hounds. Um, an honorable mention we're going to go with here is the uh, Helos BTR Gen 2. Now this scope here, this is the 2-12. to The 6-24s to are the ones that I carry the most of and I don't have any right now. If that kind of give you an idea, uh, will kind of give you an idea of how they sell. The Helos BTR Gen 2s, a very richly loaded scope for the money. 600 bucks gets you lockable turrets, zero stops, 34 millimeter tube, great scope for the money. The only gripe I have about the Helos is the reticle thickness on high power. And, it, and again, I mean, that, that's just my preference. It's just a little thick for me. Take that uh, with a grain of salt. Um, but if I was shopping for some scopes and I had 500 bucks, I would do my due diligence and check out the Helos BTR Gen 2s. Now in testing, the Helos uh, did test uh, from what I could see and some other shooters could see. The glass was a little clearer on this guy than, than the ones setting underneath it here. Actually the five underneath it. So, you know, with more money you got a little more value, a little more uh, better glass. Um, we got some scopes coming, some new scopes from Arkin. EP5s are coming out. We have some of those ordered. I'm excited to get those tested and compare those to the uh, Athlon Helos BTR. Uh, I think they're going to be pretty amazing scopes for the money. I cannot wait to get the new EP5s in. Hawk also has some new offerings coming up in their lineup. Some long range scopes we're going to be testing. So anyways guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I know this was kind of a short video. It's just kind of my top budget scope pick of 2021. Again, it's the Arkin SH4 Gen 2. We'll see you in the next video.